Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, remember something. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us something, he really has given us a great gift. These teachings, when we fulfill them, we achieve a great reward. Today, I want to speak about perfume. The Prophet sallallahu loved his perfume and he enjoyed the scent of misk and ambar and a few other of these beautiful perfumes and he spoke about them subhanallah in fact so much so that aisha radiallahu anha and a few of the other companions of the prophet sallam they speak about even anas ibn malik radiallahu anhu who served the prophet sallam they speak about something amazing the scent of his perspiration sallallahu alayhi wasallam they say that wama shamamtu أطيب من عرق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا مسكا ولا عمبرا etc etc. So the hadith is such that he is saying Anas ibn Malik رضي الله عنه I have never smelt any scent neither عمبر nor misk nor musk that is sweeter in smell in smell than this the perspiration of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحان الله so that is an amazing miracle of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. However, when it comes to us, please apply a perfume that is not going to disturb people. Sometimes we apply perfume that smells like mango pickle. And you know, people around us, I have had times when I get a headache. I've gone to the masjid or somewhere and you pass someone and you're wondering, is it a smell of, what is it of, you know? If I am told not to go to the masjid with the scent of garlic and onion, then what about that of a terrible perfume of today where it's literally stinking? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. We must make sure that the scent is good. It is beautiful. It is not so overpowering that people get headaches. Not everyone is on your level. When I was a little bit younger, I used to apply perfume for a lot of people. And sometimes some uncles would say, please don't apply for me, I get a headache. And I used to like, but this is a sunnah, you know, you're not allowed to refuse it. Until I learned, you are allowed to refuse it if you have a reason to refuse it. You get headaches, you know, you become sick, you might be allergic to it, the smell is terrible and so on. Until I grew a little bit older and I had to start refusing some of these scents. And right now, I've, I've only used very little at times, especially when I'm going to the masjid. Ya bani Adam, khudu zinatakum inda kulli masjid. O children of Adam, O humankind, you need to make sure that you have adorned yourself with the beauty when you're going to the masjid. I'm going to the house of Allah. For the sake of Allah, I'm going to dress smart, speak and span, smelling good, making sure I'm looking good. Why? I'm going to meet my maker. I'm so excited when I, when I dress in order to get to the masjid. I must be feeling I'm going to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I smell good. Make sure you don't harm people in the masjid, in the house of Allah. Make sure you're looking good. You dress well. I see people go for Salatul Fajr subhanallah in their PJs. Okay, it may not be prohibited, but you can do better. You can do much better. Go into the house of Allah, put on something and tell yourself, I'm putting this on because I'm fulfilling salah in front of Allah. I'm putting this on because I love Allah so much when I am engaging in the most important act of worship that he has prescribed upon me. I'm going to be wearing that which is beautiful, some of my good clothing or even best clothing. Subhanallah. That's a connection with Allah. So perfumes are good, mashallah. Be careful when you are applying a perfume, make sure it is something that is good. It's not going to give others a headache. And at the same time, we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. Uh, usually a beautiful smell of musk is amazing. That's the smell of oud and the smell of ambar and a few of these original smells are really great for as long as you don't have this overpowering smell that actually makes some people unwell just by them smelling it. And when you're giving people, you need to ask them, would you like some? This is what it is. Or would you like some? It's a good one. It's very light scented. Would you like some? And they might say, okay, some people have a skin problem. They might refuse it. It's not like they're against the sunnah at all. Don't get upset. They're refusing perhaps find an excuse for them. Maybe they have a skin problem. You can tell them, may Allah grant you ease because that would include shifa and cure. It would include all other matters that that person might be facing. May Allah grant us all ease. 
So here goes, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the best of sense and may we also be from among those who love a beautiful smell. Remember, the miracle was only for the Prophet sallallahu Please don't collect your perspiration in a bottle and think for a moment that you know what? Wow, I'm going to try it. Selling this. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. May Allah forgive us. Barakallah feekum, my beloved brothers and sisters. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.